Who hope I don't regret this. So I got Sega Saturn games from Lukey Games. Did they rip me off? I hope not. Let's check what's inside. All right, so finding Sega Saturn games at a good price sometimes can be difficult, but sometimes can be good. So, when on Lukey Games, they marked down <laughs> some of the Saturn games. So, we're going to open this up. So, we'll start with the, let's start with the small box right here. This one, I got three games. Winning, oh no, 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 no. Already, I want to send one back. Already, winning post creature shock and Mega Man X4. All right, so we already starting off crazy. All right, so I see the games. I'm gonna have to send out one back. Actually, they packed it pretty good. So we got Mega Man X4 right here, as you can see. Gotta make sure. Oh, look, it has the phone. All right, so Mega Man X4 was $293. Yeah, make sure it doesn't have any kind of like this right. And pull up to the light. And yes, this game does have this right. Definitely gonna have to take this game back because as you can see, they don't check with this right. Hey guys, have you subscribed to my Patreon because I am doing a lot of giveaways over there. This month's giveaway, as you see it says giveaway box, video games monthly. Now it's some great games in here, some great retro games, not no sports games. And I also am gonna add some special stuff to this. So we definitely gonna give away, but I wanna show you guys what video games monthly sent me this month. There's some pretty good stuff in here. I already went inside it, but y'all didn't know. But y'all guys, I got Dr. Mario, got Gotcha. Some good NES games, right? 1942, which I have a version of 1942 on the Neo Geo and a very fun game. I don't see why people don't play this game a lot, but I love it. It's Buster's Bust Loose, Tiny Tune Adventures game. This is a great, I've spent so many hours playing this game. If you want to get something like this, help your boy out. Go over to Video Games Monthly and tell them Mr. Rightway sent you because that will also help out the channel. And make sure you hit over to Patreon because I am giving away a box. I'm doing a lot of giveaways over there because a lot of you guys are supporting me. And thank you so much for supporting your boy. Now let's get back to the video. We're definitely going to take that one back. They didn't really check it. All right, winning post. I'm not even gonna check it, but let's check if it this right. Let's see. How you can tell if it this right, you hold it to the light and you see pinholes through it. It's, oh my gosh. Look at games, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's this right. It. Look at games, that might be the best thing, y'all. Then we got Creature Shock for $57. You always gotta check for this right. This is crazy. Make sure. All right, that disc is fine. And the return process, we'll see how it is. This this too is good. So the only two games and the most important ones that I like gotta send back because of this right. And winning post game only was like $278. Look at it right here. Yeah, I'm changing that back. So just watch out when you order for Luffy Games, y'all. Next box, got us more games. We got NBA Live 97, which it was really cheap. Do they have the prices in here? All right, so the packing slip, the games that show they don't have the prices on it, which is wild, because I got to go back and look it up. NBA Live 97 was 1097. I got the prices over here. So you see me looking over here, I'm gonna look at the prices. Uh, most Saturn games, sometimes it's just, they break like that. Check for this. Check for this right. No this right on this game. NBA Live 97 is perfect. Shanghai Triple Threat, which they gave me this box, which is pretty nice, but they probably gave me the box because the cases are broke. And I don't mind broken Saturn cases. What I do mind is like 
if the manual was nasty, which this manual is, it's okay. This Shanghai was 15 bucks, so it's pretty cool. The disc in the back of it, little man. I can get better on eBay. This is gotta take that one back. That's just unacceptable on that one. Not looking good so far, Lukey Games. People are saying what they say is true. It's true. Uh oh. We got NBA Extreme. I paid $26 for NBA Extreme. Okay. Game looks good. Sound like something inside of it. Oh, because this fell out. The disc is good. Good game. Now this is my replacement copy for Slam and Jam Signature Edition. The one I did get was just bad, but no. This right. Good game. I mean, more than sports games, I'm not gonna have this right. World Series Baseball 98, which I needed. This right? Nope. If it was this right on 98, I wouldn't care. I care about Mega Man 4 or Mega Man X4. That's that's a big one. Uh, we got Mist. Mist complete was 16 bucks. No disc rot. It was perfect. Here's another one. It's pretty good. We got Daytona USA. That's how they in arcade, right? <laughs> Uh, looks good. Really nice. All right. This right? No, this right. No, this right at all. Like I said, if you want to tell this right, hold the disc up to a strong light source. If you see pinholes on the disc, that's this right. Virtual Fighter 2. Looks good. This right? No, this right at all. Boom. Sega Rally Championship, which I love this, this full cover. It's so nice. Looks good. Manual was nice. Disc right? No disc right at all. Good job, Luki. Some of these games. Oh, last big one. I hope that the next last big one don't have this right. Tunnel B1. Which, that's a weird looking cover, right? Ooh. <laughs> All right. No diss right on that one. That is good. And uh, I paid $21 for B1. Uh, for Sega Rally Championship, I paid $34. Virtual Fighter 2, I'm sorry, I didn't say this earlier. Uh, Virtual Fighter 2, let me check and look. Where is that it? I paid $16 for that one. Daytona USA, I paid... $13 for that. If I didn't say miss, it was $16. And my last one, Night, Night Warriors. This is the one I've been searching for because I love Capcom games. This game cost me $66, but it's usually an $80 to $95 game. Oh, is it broken? No, it's not. It just scratched right here on the on the side, like right here. You can see that. But no disc right. It's just scratchy. And I can tell they ran through the buffer. And look, the buffer residue. Look, look again, y'all gonna have to really, y'all have to like do better. Like at least just wipe their stuff off when you send it to somebody. <laughs> there you go. Looks good. Thought it was scratched or thought it was broke. Thought it was broke, but it's actually just scratch, right? You'll see a lot of scratching on the Sega on Sega CDs and Sega, uh, you know, on Sega CDs and Sega Saturn. There you go, games like right here in this little ring area. Sometimes you'll see scratches. If it's scratched right there, it's usually gonna work, especially when you get good deals on a game like this. Let me check this manual. This manual looks really nice. It don't look water damage or anything. That's a nice manual. Look, still got the registration card. It's not faded or anything. It still smells like the 90s. Stink. <laughs> no, it don't really stinks, but it's, like, it's got that smell. So, out of these games, we have one, two, 
three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games. Eleven great games. We had to return two games, but these two games, oh my goodness. Mega Max 4. I wish it worked. I wish it would have worked. But you gotta return it, y'all. And winning post was my fault. I picked disc only. Got excited and saw that. Let's get return now. And I might return this Shanghai triple threat. Because this is kind of. It looks kind of bad, you know. So three out of the games I got right there. Mega Man was a expensive one. But yeah, I'm a little torn. I say. Okay, you let me know in the comments. What do y'all think? Uh, Luki Games, they did pretty good. So I'm gonna return these. I'm gonna let you guys. I'm gonna let you guys know what they say about me returning that. So, yeah. Oh.